Well guys, looks like I found my new hunting bow for the upcoming season and I'm really excited to get this bad boy put together. This is the Matthews Phase 433 in real tree edge camo. The draw length is set at 31 inches and the draw weight is at 70 pounds. The reason I like the Phase 4 isn't because of the split limbs with the rubber between them. It's because of the bridge lock technology. I really like the idea of bringing everything closer to the center line of the bow, which results in a much more balanced setup. I'm not a big fan of the Matthews grip, so on this boat I'm switching it out with the B-Reel 2.0 from Ultraview. I really like the look and the feel of these grips, and I got this one in the OD green accent color. Since this is going to be my hunting bow, I need an arrow rest that can handle some abuse. On this bow, I'm going with the QAD Ultra Rest RZ. These rests are bulletproof and easy to tune. I've been using QAD rests as long as I can remember and I've never had one fail. This also has the integrate mount so it attaches straight to the back of the riser. site, I'm going with the quarter inch Fletcher True Peak. I like the quarter inch size because it really helps in the low light conditions.
For the sight, I'm going with the Spot Hog Fast Eddy XL1 pin. This has a 6 inch dovetail mount, tuneless adjustment, and micro adjustable second and third axis. I've always wanted to try out a Spot Hog, so let's get this thing on. Now for something really cool. This is the 10 inch bridge lock stabilizer new for this year. The only thing that I don't like about these new stabilizers is the fact that they are definitely overpriced. To hold my arrows, I'm going with the Matthews Low Pro Detachable Quiver. This fits right in with the idea of bringing everything closer to the center line of the bow for better balance. Well, there you have it guys. This thing is looking sweet. All that's left to do now is a little paper tuning and this bad boy will be ready for the range. I hope you enjoyed this build as much as I did. But until next time, thank you for watching and as always, get out there and let it fly.